Alright, this is going to be just a short little addition. I'm still cleaning up rocks and all that. Uh, I got another migrant wave, but there was absolutely no danger. There was nothing bad on the map. So, uh, didn't figure it was worth recording. Anyway, the second this guy showed up, he went straight to a workshop and he just made a horse bone door. So, um, he's one of my dwarfed dwarves from uh, the Reddit forum, or the Reddit thread. So, uh, Anyway, that's my first artifact, and so I just wanted to kind of capture it. Nothing exciting is going on right now at all. Um, this will obviously is the start of the third video once I get around to it, but uh, I got a little bit more work to do, but I just wanted to get this. So, um, more in a little bit. Okay. Uh, Yet again, not a whole lot's happened, but uh, I am about to trade with the elves for the first time, so I figured I might as well uh, get some of it on camera. So that, what you see there, is my artifact. It is a horse bone door, which is extremely useful because artifacts can't be broken open by building destroyers, so... I can finally have a nice safe door. Probably also those little M's are some macaques that came out of nowhere and I decided to kill them <laughs> for meat and other. Uh, you're probably going to notice that a lot of my dwarves are going to have somewhat odd names. Um, went ahead and dwarfed a bunch of people so um, yeah, we're going to have a little bit more variety to the dwarf names. Eventually, these elf traders aren't going to have a very good time coming to my fortress, but for now, I really need their wood and uh, whatever else they have that I might be able to use. So, we're going to play nice this time. Uh, oh take a brief while they're moving stuff just kind of go over what's been done really not much stuff slowly being cleared out um, pretty much that'll be the dining hall eventually uh, it's still getting mined out yet more hematite so that's pretty awesome uh, slowly getting my ore stockpile built up getting the rocks cleared out so getting almost ready to set up the magma forges. Uh, that should happen relatively soon. And uh, getting some bedrooms set up. I haven't actually set them as bedrooms. Actually, I should probably just do that. There's no reason not to. Right now, I've got bedrooms for 80 dwarves. Well, I've got the rooms carved out for 80 dwarves, so that should be good for quite a while. As you can see, a couple of my recent migrants were brought in to be stone smoothers initially, and then they'll engrave once they get better. They're just, uh, yet again, almost nothing. I got a, a decent head doctor, which I, sh I need to... Uh, uh, this guy. That's my head doctor. I'm gonna get a bookkeeper and a manager here shortly, but uh, for right now I don't have any offices carved out, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And let's go ahead and trade, hopefully, friendship. Friendship, our broker slash um, stone crafter. <laughs> Hopefully he can make it there relatively soon and we can get some wood because I've got a lot of beds to make and it looks like they've got plenty of wood with them, which is nice. And looks like they've got some case. Oh, speaking of cages, haha, <laughs> check it out. I'm sure you can kind of figure out since I'm not constantly talking about Dralta anymore, but um, it did work. The three cage traps outside the two doors and then... Uh, I, yeah, in the video you guys saw the one random one get caught, so there are my three Drolthas. 
they will be target practice for payback for being such a pain in the ass before. Alright, friendship. Let's see. It's actually supposed to be power of friendship, but uh, 16 character limit, so we're just going to go with friendship, the broker. And my crafts seem to be worth significantly more this time around, so my crafters are getting better. That's cool. Whoops, of course. Man. I'm just stingy with my bins. <laughs> Otherwise, I could do this a lot faster. Okay. So, I've got plenty of clay. This is what I want. Yes. Plenty of wood. Alright, I should probably pick up some ropes. Gonna be doing some wells here pretty soon. I've probably got, yeah, I've got plenty of cages. I really don't need any more cages. I can use some barrels. Oh. Yeah, don't need any gnome blight. Pick up some buckets. Anything that I don't have to waste my own wood on is great. I don't need any of your pansy. It might be good to pick up some bags. I'm going to be getting uh, my windmill and everything going here relatively soon, so it doesn't hurt to have bags. I don't know if I'm even going to bother doing an above ground farm. Pick up some cloth just in case. And probably just food, because at this point. I don't have a whole lot more. Oops. Actually, I probably should get some thread, especially since it's so cheap. Really, man, they're not bringing me any food, <laughs> these traders. Uh, Alright, well, that's... I could probably get a couple more things in there. Probably get some splints, actually. Splints and crutches. to get some more cages. Ooh, a leopard cage. I can put him at the front of my door. Yeah, that'll be good. Black bear. I kind of doubt they're going to trade. I kind of want the black bear. Eh, I got a leopard. That's good enough. I can get stuff later. I don't even know if we'll take this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Um, I want the leopard cage, though. <laughs> Now that I've seen it, I really want it. Don't need that necessarily. I've got a couple ropes already, so. Cool. Um, I don't even think most of my goods were moved there, so I can probably trade again. Maybe pick up myself a black bear or something. So, anyway, um, it's summertime. I don't see it really much more exciting stuff happening. I just figured I should probably get down my first trade with the elves. Not that it's really that big of a deal. Um, so I'm just going to keep clearing stuff out, smooth down some walls, make a couple more bedrooms. And if anything awesome happens, I will show you. So um, signing out for now. Okay, uh, another little milestone. This is the first human caravan to show up to my fortress. Um, yet again, there's really nothing on the map to challenge him. It's been pretty weird, honestly. <laughs> nothing like most of the other places I've been. Like, uh, There's pretty much nothing at all on the map, so they should make it fine. Uh, I've got a jaguar guarding my 
door now, which is pretty awesome. I didn't end up getting that from the elves. So, um, anyway, gonna go ahead and let the human caravan in. While they're coming and setting up shop, actually, let me go up here real quick. And just mark a bunch of this stuff ahead of time. Should have done this to begin with, sorry. Like to get some more wood from the humans. Uh, okay, so um, anyway, went ahead and finished this. So I don't really have them working on another floor right now. I think this is where my bridges are gonna go, and then. Uh, I'm eventually going to have some towers that, um, you know, this will be fortified up here, so I'm just going to kind of leave that alone for right now. Um, this hasn't changed a whole lot. I uh, put in some flooring just to make it look a little prettier. Uh, stockpiles are starting to fill up a little bit. Um, most of these areas are getting cleared out pretty well. I uh, designated some more workshops because I finally got enough migrants to actually, you know, do just about anything I want at this point. So they're mining out some more workshop areas and then I'll actually start using those stockpiles that I carved out forever ago. Uh, that's the dining room. It's carved out and cleaned out. They're starting to put in tables and chairs now, so finally have a dining room of some sort. Uh, I had to expand my <laughs> ore storage area. <laughs> It's like a dwarf fortress first world problem. <laughs> you have to, oh, I have to mine out more space from all these ores I have. <laughs> anyway, that's all done, so it's mostly filled. Uh, I'm just about ready to fill up my magma areas. I needed to get some more magma safe mechanisms for those floodgates. Uh, so once that's done, I'll flood that. Those are going to be barracks. Um, the hairy balls of Armok. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just thought that looked kind of cool. So anyway, those will be the barracks someday. Uh, getting the bedrooms, they're pretty much clean. Most of them are getting smoothed down. Starting to get some beds and um, coffers and uh, cabinets put in. This one hasn't really gotten much. But anyway, they're starting to get relatively comfortable down there. So that's a good thing. They've been through a little bit of strife. Not really much, honestly, for a terrifying embarks, but um, a little bit, so a couple comforts. Um, so let's see how this human caravan does. I'd imagine they'll be fine since there's nothing on the map, but well, it's probably a turkey gobbler or something. Yeah. <laughs> Not really a threat, so... Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever lost anything to, you know, coming through, which is really, it's just weird. I, <laughs> uh, the only casualties I've had so far was the one guy to the Dralta, and then good old Handy who uh, got his arm knocked off, but other than that, it's been remarkably casualty-free. Looks like I'm building up a bunch of... Uh, Idler, so I'll dump some of these. Give them something to do. Real quick. It's really nice being able to clear this stuff out so fast. Okay. And while the humans are setting up, I'm just gonna finish up a few things. I kind of build them as I get to them. Uh, okay, we'll let them go ahead and set up up there. Get my goods all moved over. There's obviously quite a few there. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, these are... Kind of 
I'll always make more of this crap. Alright. That should do for now. So, uh, hoping to get a little bit more wood. Um, see if maybe, I don't, at this point I'm going to have to start doing some explorations for some flux stone, because I'm getting really close to being able to get my production up and running on break. Damn brokers. What's my broker's name? Friendship? That seems slightly ironic. He's not much of a friend. He does things on his own time, never shows up when you need him. <sighs> but it does give my guys some, a chance to move some stuff in there. Come on, friendship. Get in there, bud. Uh, another project I've got coming up is uh, I want to set up my hospital early start. Fine, man. Damn brokers, anyway. I think my hospital is going to be, um, I was thinking either right there or right there. Um, I don't know. I haven't 100% decided yet. I've got all these areas open, too, but I've got some other plans for those for later on. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to set up any big pump stacks or anything, rain magma down on the goblins, but... I might, and if so, I'm going to need a place for all that machinery, and that it's nice to have some nice rock layers for that, so um, we'll see. I wonder if good old friendship ever got his head out of his ass. On break, of course not. Fuck. Man. Dralthas are pretty satisfying. I'm pretty happy with those. That's autumn. This fortress has made it into its second autumn, which is pretty cool. I think this is going to be a pretty awesome one. I'm setting my sights on hell. <laughs> well, I have a goal if it's not a lofty one, but uh, this would be a good fort to colonize hell if I can really manage to get... Uh, all the steel I think I'm going to be able to get. Man, you and your brakes, dude. Seriously. Hold on, I'm going to see if... Uh... You got nothing else to do, man. Get up there. Seriously. Yeah, 49 dwarves. So, not too shabby. Um... No, you're not making rock crafts. I canceled that, dude. He better be on his way up there. Look at all those lazy bastards. I, I really gotta get it. Okay, good. Finally. Jeez. Alright, let's get some of this stuff out of here. It's also nice with this stuff. Just kind of clearing it out. Getting rid of all this rock. It's one way to get rid of all this damn rock. I'll set up some catapults to train my siege operators here in a little while, and that will also help to uh, get rid of some rock. So, at this point, um, just in case I get some asshole noble that really likes bronze or black bronze or something, I'll start buying their. Good wood, that's what I needed. Um, panda blood. Eh, maybe my guys can make something out of that. Don't really need a cow. I'll take the buckets. I can definitely use buckets. Shit, 100 bucks for a nice bronze warhammer? I'll do that. Probably you could use another pick. Um, most of this stuff, I just don't need. I mean, I'm just, I guess I'm just planning way ahead, because I'm expecting to have steal everything here. <laughs> I 
I might be screwing myself, we'll see. Might as well get some more cloth while I'm rich and leather. That can't hurt. Buy a bunch of cloth and leather and that'll uh, help me set up my hospital as well. I still want to get some food though, so let's lay off on the cloth and leather here for a bit. See what they got for food. I can make my own iron anvils. I guess I wouldn't hurt to have a couple just to start, so I don't have to worry about making them. There's all their food. I definitely need some more food. Whoops. Well, it doesn't hurt to have thread. I need thread too. Um, oh, a quiver. I can use a quiver. Nice cheap quiver. I don't need none of your carbon knives. So there's no way they're going to do this trade. Let's see if I picked out some expensive shit on accident. Probably did. I tend to do that every once in a while. Yeah, I don't really need that pick. I can make my own pick here in a minute. I definitely don't need a $400 rope. $500 damn near. Uh, let's see if they'll do that. Yeah. How about that? That's what I thought. Cool, fellas. Alright, friendship. You can bugger off now. Uh, go make some stone crafts. You're good at that. And you can get you can do some hauling as well. So the next big thing I think I'm going to show on here is setting up a military. Setting up my military anyway, the way I do it. It's going to be a group of 10 crossbow wielders, um, but I'm not going to do that right this second, so I'll let them keep clearing things out and set up the magma forges, and uh, when I get ready to do that, I will hop back on the video, unless something else interesting happens, so um, that is the current status of the fort, it's coming along nicely, got more ore than I'll know what to do with for a long time, uh, which is awesome. I'm definitely not complaining. Um, and we're starting to get into the kind of fun stuff, so hopefully we'll be able to defend ourselves soon. And, um, you know, maybe get up a goblin siege or something. So, anyway, um, be back in a bit. Alright, so this will be another probably relatively brief little interlude here. Um, finally gonna load the magma into my magma forges, so it's not really any danger. It's all walled off. I had to do walls like that so the damn masons wouldn't trap themselves in there. It's unbelievably stupid. Um, that would be a really nice feature <laughs> is if you could pick the way, the direction from which they build the wall. Maybe you can. Like I said. Maybe you can. There's a lot of stuff I've said, man, I wish you could do this, and then it uh, turns out you actually can't. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the lever, and that should uh, safely fill up my magma forges, I hope. Down it goes. Uh, you probably saw I had a couple grates in there. Those aren't going to stop any real bad guy, but... Uh, Pretty sure it keeps out like fire imps and magma crabs and crap like that, so um, I've already seen some magma crabs running around in there. And I have a ton of idlers. Let's see, I uh, got most of my bedrooms on the upper floor done uh, and assigned, so people are starting to get bedrooms now. That's good for them, makes them happy. I tend to make my bedrooms much larger than at least some people. Like the little, like there's a very uh, space saving ways to do it, but it's just it's never been that important to me to save as much space as possible. Uh, the bigger bedrooms seem to make them happier, and uh, it also gives me a lot of stone at the beginning carving those out. Like I'm not a big fan of just carving out huge blocks of stone for nothing, just for the simple active building stuff, so regardless, there's uh, 
There's my magma forges coming in. Um, let's put in some smelters. I'm gonna need a lot of smelters. Um, I can't remember. I don't think they have to be magma safe, magma safe but uh, I'm going to build them magma safe just in case. So quartzite's magma safe. I know. I know mica is. Um, oh no. The horror. Well, whatever. I can just turn that into a garbage dump. That's not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, there's even five there. Well, I'll make two garbage dumps then. Uh, That'll actually be kind of useful. Just a little space where I can have them dump, dump stuff into the magma uh, that'll melt. So I don't think five's actually going to be enough. I'm planning on having a lot more. So let's build some up here too. And I did the same thing up here. <sighs> oh well, whatever. I don't really. <laughs> I'm just going to try to not mind it because. <laughs> It's just the way it's going to be. I'm not redoing. At this point, I'd have to pump all the magma out and stuff. So. To have stuff fit in there just nice and, nice and neat. I've had a couple people comment, like, what the hell are you even talking about? I just like everything to fit in nice and neat, but uh, that ain't going to happen on this one because I didn't think ahead when I dug out my stuff. There, there's a ton of smelters. So... Um, I think I've got like five dwarves designated as furnace operators right now, but uh, with all that ore, at least initially, I'm going to take the guys I've marked as soldiers and have them do some smelting as well, because I need it done. And then eventually I'll turn some of those into like a kiln or a glass furnace. I haven't even found sand, but um, I need one anyway just in case some random guy goes into a mood and needs one, so... Um, so, and I believe I've got three forges, there are three anvils for forges, so, damn it, whatever, I'll just leave a gap in the middle, one, yeah, that's fine, yeah, I do, sweet, iron is magma safe, so it's steel, Like I said, I don't think you need to actually worry about that, but uh, I'm going to, just because. So, like I said before, I've got a guy that's a blacksmith. He's nothing super special, but he's good enough to make gambles, so that'll give those guys something to do. Um, Especially once my smelters get going, that'll clear out the idlers a lot. And so we'll setting up the military. Actually, I guess I can just do that. They don't even have a leader, so I'll uh, set them as archers. And I'll, the eviscerated books. Cut the head off a book. That, uh, that could kind of be... Oh, I haven't even added these guys in yet. Um, I mentioned before I got another migrant wave that came in. I haven't even gone through them yet. This really isn't actually that much longer after the uh, last human trader. It's just I have a whole bunch of guys, so stuff gets done pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I haven't even looked at these guys yet. Plant gatherer. Actually, I'm going to keep a plant gatherer. Oh, no, he's a good mason. Sorry, bud. I would have thought about it at one time, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to need masons. I'm going to go in a huge building spree here pretty soon. Okay, so I've got a dedicated weaponsmith that I want working on stuff. I've got a dedicated armor, so I'll leave him there. These guys can both be blacksmiths and crafters. I don't need another furnace operator right now. All these guys are going to be furnace operators unless they have a useful skill, which it doesn't seem like that guy does. Um, okay, I set him. 
Metal worker. I didn't really think ahead. I shouldn't be doing this on video. This has got to be super damn boring. Oh, he's a mechanic. I need more mechanics. If, you, if you're looking right now, you can probably see I've got some guys marked as soldiers, but I don't have a military, so they're just filling in odd jobs, but I've um, already got a plant processor, so you'll be another furnace operator. Anyway, these soldiers that are filling in right now, they aren't going to be available, so I need to kind of fill up with their... Ooh, another engraver. I like having... <laughs> I engrave everything. Uh, so I take that back, you are not a furnace operator. I've got plenty of woodworkers. And I think I've got three farmers, which is more than enough. Um, this tanner has actually... <laughs> Sorry bud, that's the third time I've upgraded my tanner. Apparently I'm getting lots of good tanners, but uh, not something that's super useful. Maybe eventually. Um, I've got, I'll show you in a second actually. It's easier to just show you than tell you about it. Um, so I got that guy nicknamed, I got this guy nicknamed. I just, it's just for my own ease, just if somebody gets killed, I can easily identify if they were somebody worthwhile or not, like Potash Maker Urist McDickhead was killed, but I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> I just don't care. But, you know, if it's legendary weaponsmith, you know, Urist McBadass, then that sucks. So I just kind of assign them names, except for the dwarfed guys. Um, I don't really need any of your stuff, so you can be a furnace operator too for now. It doesn't really hurt to set a bunch of people as furnace operators. Uh, so yeah, up to 58 dwarves. I might even, I might even have a, oh, I don't have a mayor yet. It's gotta be getting close. I think the, if the mayor comes at 60. Oh yeah, I was gonna... Okay, so... I'm actually, uh... I've got some of my guys pastured. I've got two pairs. I've got donkeys and alpaca, alpacas. So, uh, speaking of, I was gonna... I meant to mine out this. So... Let's make it significantly larger. Oh yeah, and that's the beginnings of a well. Damn it! Over there. Um, I'm just waiting. There's some skeletal or zombie badgers on the map. So right now. I honestly don't really know what the threshold is. I don't know what this threshold is for cave-ins. I don't believe I've ever had a cave-in, mostly because I'm so careful about it, I'm guessing. Um, oh, what am I doing? Uh, so it... That's what I'm doing. Man, what is wrong with me? Alright. Shift. <laughs> Jeez. Shift. Anyway, um, I don't get very many cave-ins, so... That's what I'm doing now is designating little pillars, which, whatever, just in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. Um, probably go down a little bit further. Okay, so that'll be a decent pasture, and I'll be able to start growing my own wood here pretty soon, so that'll be nice. Uh, and yeah, breeding pairs of donkeys and alp alpacas. I should be able to get some meat, which reminds me, I'm going to have a couple butchers. See, that's... I shouldn't have put those damn...
coffins there. Uh, I'll worry about the butcher in a minute. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so, yeah, it's. Uh, I dug out a little area for water, cleaned it out. Got this floodgate. This lever is going to let the water in. I just need to let these damn. whatever they are, badgers, I think, is what they were. Clear out. Actually, it looks like. Oh no, they're still hanging around. I'm gonna let them take off and then. Oh, too bad, but I, I don't really care about you. Uh, I don't want my mechanic. I only have like two decent mechanics, so. I don't want a mechanic dying to a badger for no real good reason, just putting a mechanism on a floodgate. Plus, I'm not really hurting for drinks or anything, so. Not a big rush on any of that. Clear out these. So, yeah. Oh, I was gonna do my military here. <laughs> One second. Now that I've started this, I want to finish it. I do not want to do that. I don't want to dump any ore. I reclaim it all anyway, so it's not like it'd be gone forever, but I just don't really want to. It's just a bad precedent to set. Don't don't pour. That is dumb. Uh, yeah, so my dining room starting to get smoothed out in preparation for engraving, and uh, I have rows of tables along here, so they'll be vertical rows. This is gonna be like the head table. Vertical rows, and then I'll have some statues, and I'll probably have like a shower here. I don't. We'll see. Uh, I, I might put the shower at the hospital. That's one thing I've noticed that I like to do. A lot of people um, will put their showers in the dining rooms or meeting halls or where people congregate, which is good. I'm not saying it's not good, but I like to put it at the entrance to the hospital because that way it cleans off the blood because <laughs> people going into hospitals are always bloody. So And then sometimes they've got some shit on them I really don't want spreading. So sometimes by then it's too late, but anyway. So, uh, yeah, an operational magma area, actually, while I'm looking at it. I don't have a manager yet. You're going to see I really love using managers, but I don't have one. Oh, I haven't even smelted any iron. Wait, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'll do that, all that later. That takes some time to set all that shit up, so I'm not going to worry about that um, right this second. I'm fucking around for some reason. I, was, I had something I was going to do. Whatever. Screw it. Uh, okay, so let's take our soldiers. Um, I, there was one guy that was a decent archer somewhere that I marked as a soldier. I should have marked him as like leader. Yeah, that guy. You'll be the you'll be the boss. All these other guys are. I didn't have anything useful for any type of military, so I'm just taking the scraps and hopefully I'll make something out of them. Um, so, I don't even have crossbows for these guys yet. These guys are just... I'm just tired of looking at all the idlers, I guess. That's, I've got... Uh, my legendary bone carver, Chrysof Chrysophrase, I think. I'm gonna have to look again, but anyway. So he's gonna make me some really good bone bolts for practice, and uh, maybe even for use. Um, so I'm just gonna keep all their stuff, the default, since I don't have any stuff to give them. And then I'll start making some steel crossbows, or at least iron crossbows to start here in a bit. And then when I go through that, I'll cut in and um, do their schedules and stuff. I don't even have beds in their barracks yet, so I guess I definitely jumped the gun. Um, and I'm going to put some archery rangers right there. So, uh, yeah, at this point, uh, we're... Hey, look. I'll let you in just so I can slaughter you. And you, screw you too. That's what you get for hanging around outside so long. Being a pest. It's like a door to door salesman. Um, 
So, yeah. I'm gonna cut this off again, and, uh, make my archery ranges hopefully outfit my barracks a little bit, start the smelting, and, um, yeah. Nothing really exciting. Maybe I'll get a siege or something here in a little bit. It's about that time. Well, I'll at least ambushers and shit like that, so, um, yeah. I, uh, be back in a while. Alright guys, another little status update. Um, so, all my smelters are running. Uh, I'm getting a bunch of bars. Got a bunch of iron already, which is really nice. I uh, had my blacksmith, actually I have two blacksmiths, uh, make me some more anvils. So I've got uh, plenty of magma forges, which is pretty sweet. Um, right now, well, I just just now assigned my manager, so I have a manager and a bookkeeper, which reminds me that I need to uh, set him to accurate. I like knowing exactly what I have. Um, so I put my manager's office right there, um, right there in the middle. <laughs> I don't know if it actually matters, but most of the stuff I have my manager do has to do with um, making weapons and armor and whatnot. So if I I put it right next to the forges so that hopefully um, <laughs> it gets done quick. I don't know. I don't know if it actually works. I've just done it forever. Uh, so the barracks already gone over that. Um, bedrooms are mostly full. I think these ones I haven't actually signed yet. They were the last ones on this level. Yeah. And I've got a couple more down here. So I think once I get done with this, everyone should have a bedroom, which is good. That should raise the general level of happiness in the fort, especially since some of them are smooth stone. Most of them have pretty nice stuff in them. I try to save uh, the nice stuff for bedrooms. I'm going to have to start thinking about nobles' quarters here. Those will probably go there. Um, So I added a couple tables and chairs to the dining room. The, there will be three more rows, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to start on gold statues or platinum statues or something here for it pretty soon. So that will be cool. That office right there is my uh, bookkeeper's office. Just kind of fit it in where I could. Um, I finally went, got around to assigning these stockpiles. So um, I just kind of made them specialized. So there's like a mechanics area and a craft stores area. Actually, you'll notice there's multiple craft stores areas. So these are going to be kind of like the general ones. I'm hoping the, the guys that get moods or whatever take these. This guy's specifically bone. He's my legendary bone. So this whole thing is for bone crafts. I need to make the stockpile for bone actually while I'm looking at it. So that he can... Uh, get it quickly done. Let's do that while we're looking at it. Um, so, refuse. And I just want the bones. Yeah, so, uh, that should be fine. I think I have to enable it in here. I guess we'll see. Pretty sure I can just leave it bones. I've done I've done this before. It's been I said before it's been a while since I played, so this should be fine. So bones. I just want bones. Actually I don't, I don't know if he can I don't know if he can decorate with horns and hooves too, but it'd be cool if he can. Right now I've got him making bone bolts and decorating with bone because he's going to raise the level of just about anything he touches since he's led my le lone legendary craft store. So anyway, uh, kind of got off topic, so stuck a craft store shop here. This is the wood. Uh, I need to move it down from up there. I haven't done that yet. And then like a mechanics area. I really get into mechanics quite heavy later on. And then I've got a, kind of a jeweler area up here, cloth area here. Mason area down here, and leather, tanner, and whatnot there. Um, so it's just 
Then I've got a spare one just in case I really need an extra one. I did end up finishing this well, um, so I've got plenty of water for the future. I shouldn't be running out of water. Not that my dwarves particularly like water. They prefer to drink the good stuff. Um, stop production on the pots. i got plenty of pots. So uh, That's my general... They're moving most of the stocks down now because I changed them around. This is uh, my new tree farm slash pasture. Uh, it's just now started growing stuff. They just finished it a little while ago. So... Uh, it's coming along pretty nicely though. I'm going to make my butcher shop uh, here pretty soon. Not really too much of a need for it right now. Uh, nothing much has changed here. I am making, starting uh, the walkways over to the towers that will eventually be there. Um, so that's begun. Not much has been done on it yet. Uh, I think, yeah. I, uh, I actually had the dwarf caravan come in the downtime. I don't know, I really don't think it's that exciting to watch people trade, so if nothing else other than a trader showing up happens, I'm just not going to show it unless people really want to see it. I ended up getting a bunch of wood, a bunch of food, and uh, some other random stuff. So I'm going to be able to start trading for a lot more once I start getting my metal crafts. I have some gold and stuff. So. Um, anyway, uh, I'm about ready to start making, uh, I'll probably just make some iron crossbows for now, and use the bone bolts that I have, and, uh, so I'll have my military, I think I'll do that, um, like the start of the next video, just so people can just skip this one if they don't, I mean, nothing really happened, I understand, <laughs> it's just, I'll just label it as the babysitting video or whatever, but the fort's finally, um, it's gotten to a pretty comfortable level now, so I'll be able to start doing, like, fun stuff. Okay, I did do these. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not real sure... If there's anything real pressing that I'm forgetting, I'm, just, I'm thinking while I'm doing this, because... Uh, no, I think we're pretty good. So, anyway, I will cut this off and put this video up. And uh, my next project, I'm going to carve out some nobles' quarters. Um, decide for once, for sure, where I'm going to put my... Uh, hospital, get that carved out. I'm really thinking right there's a pretty good spot. So, um, yeah, and I'm gonna keep building this. I'm gonna draft a bunch of miners, take, or a bunch of masons, take everybody that's sitting around, which there isn't a lot. I, I assigned a bunch of jobs, so there's not a ton of people sitting around, but uh, I'm gonna really work on getting the castle built up, getting some defenses up, getting some traps, because <laughs> right now I've got a, a leopard and a an artifact door between me and the howling masses, so, uh, yeah, anyway, um, uh, next time you see me will be the next video, see you later.